what is going on boys and girls welcome back to another video another stock video it's been a busy morning i know this is a quick snappy one for you but i've been seven and a half hours traveling this morning to go and pick these up i know right and it's only midday when this is being filmed not that you need to know or worry about that anyway all of this is for sale that's the bit you do need to know jordan's vintage world ebay store literally just google jordan's vintage world look in the bio below instagram facebook you will find me worldwide postages available combined postages available I slap it out of the way. Let's get into the fun stuff. So like this type of video, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just going to pan you across the kitchen table. There's more stuff as well, but this is literally maxed out. I know I need to get a bigger kitchen table. But anyway, let's get into it. We're going to start down here. The Queen Mary ship. I've actually been on the real one of these out in Long Beach in California. So yeah, I've walked across that deck. Not that one, but you know, the real one. So we'll pan you through because there's some lovely airplanes in here. Some gorgeous stuff, if I'm honest with you. This little ship as well. Guessing that's pre-war, not that you can make it out. I promise you, there's a little ship there, right? <laughs> Let's keep going you through. And all of this is dinky, aside from this little techno plane here. But that is gorgeous. You'll also notice the original price stickers are underneath everything. So that's the thing about toy hunting. You see these lovely videos, you don't see the taking stickers off stuff, the cleaning up stuff, and the road tripping stuff. But no, that's not me moaning either. I absolutely love it. I live the dream every single day doing this. Feels more like a hobby than it does a job. You might notice some odd colour stuff as well, like this, for example. They've been uh, Code 3 restored, very professionally, if I'm honest with you. Restoration job on that is gorgeous. So there's an odd couple of restored stuff floating around. The majority is all original, and there's some near mint stuff in there as well. Just check out the condition of that. It's stunning. Working lights on this example, of course. Battery in there. wonder are we going to work. You seeing this like I am? I don't know. Wonder how long that battery's been. Oh no, there we go. Love that. Anyway, the Capri as well. That's beautiful. Condition of that. Hmm, stunning. As you know, it's original prices are on all of them. That's how honest I am. I don't need to hide it because I sell everything pretty sensible anyway. XK120, stunning. What we saying about the Jag then? You've seen this in the, obviously the core. Did I see a Jag? That's a Jag. Anyway, the Porsche, let's get to it. It's been a long day. Porsche Carrera 6, normally you see it in the in the Corgi. What was it, the 330 number in the Corgi? But in Dinky, that's awesome. They've gone one step extra. Love that. What a stunning model. Chrysler Airflow, stunning. French Dinky Peugeot wagon, stunning. There you go. As you can see, that would be been a Heinz Big Bedford. It's been restored very, very well. That's a lovely looking model. It's a bit different. It's a Code 3. It's worth getting some of it. You might notice some of the older vans as well. Look, these have been done stunning. Lovely, love them. Now Crawfords, for my older people that are, the older um, followers and friends, you might know it's what, about a year and a half ago, I actually had a pre-war selection of these vans and I sold them around about 1,500 pounds each per van, I know, for one van like that. I bought real cars cheaper than that over the years, but to be fair, pre-war vans like that, I've been known to go between five and eight thousand pounds for one single one, depending on liveries. So it might actually be uh, not a bad price. Talking about pre-war, condition-wise, it's a bit chipped. But what's nice, obviously, these suffer massively with casting flaws because the casting back then, what they did with the metals around the war time, etc. It's nice to see that not falling apart, still holding its own. Nice model, very nice model. You might know it's a bus as well, Code Three. But I love it. When you see like a million Dunlop one of these over here, it's just nice to see something different. True story. But let's keep your pan on. Let's keep your showing. There we go. A couple more of those vans there. They're done very well. Lovely condition traveller as well. That's nice with a black, um, different variant with the back front arches on it. Stunning. This is lovely as well. Nice to see in the blue, opposed to the um, normal silver that you always see. Lovely condition Mercedes. That's gorgeous. Stunning train set with the carriages. Let's keep walking. Lovely Land Rover in the red with the yellow back, opposed to the usual green or orange that you see. Let's keep panning. Let me know if this speed works well for you as well, boys and girls. Um, you know, I don't want to be too fast. I don't need to miss things. Dolphin cab, stunning. Those always sell very, very well. But what was getting my attention was the Escort. Lovely original condition. Stunning. Near mint. That is a beauty. That looks like a pre-war trailer. It might just be the back with the pre-war cover on it. Could be late 40s. Lovely to see as well the Bedford cream in the yellow opposed to the red. I'm always about the variants. I like seeing stuff that I don't always see. 
and there's so many different variants of things you don't even realize it's nice to actually pick it up as you can see they're restored obviously you can tell a man off but they are done very very well and they will be priced pretty cheap and you know it's going to get something great for display now the american cars love those at the point they had the corvette next to it especially that that era stunning absolutely stunning We've got the morris in the two-tone color which is very nice that's a very nice condition mini too stunning actually very very nice pan through we got some farm stuff we've got some buses we've got some more lorries we got a bunch of buses we've got some fire stuff doctor who that's nice love the police boxes the um missile launcher as well that's in lovely condition of course we've got a french dinky bullet next to it as well stunning but i like to make these videos nice and snappy you know i want to keep you entertained i don't want to bore you by going through literally everything that's nice as well the non-mini car version but as i said you can own this stuff this is all for sale worldwide postage is available combined postage always do the best deal that i can and uh yeah jordan's vintage world in the description below facebook google instagram you'll find me but i tell you what until next time it's for my boss here i'm done stay tuned because there's many more collections coming very very soon yo smash like on our button when you're there peace and love